Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the Manju Love Awakening. My name is Kiana, or welcome back if you are an existing subscriber. So today I want to go in and look at your energetics, take a deep dive and look at your energetic space as it pertains to love, see what's going on. Um, this is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as any of your ninth house placements as well, guys. So um, I'm going to pull one message of love and we have boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. And then it says release, radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Um, <clears throat> guys, I will call out, if I remember to call out the zodiac signs here in this video, at, towards the end, I uh, encourage you to go watch those if you resonate when I do bring up the those zodiac signs in this reading. Here on the Manjula Awakening, we currently are, Spirit, can you please show me the energy of the connection that we're going to look at for Sagittarius today? Thank you, Spirit. Um, guys, here on the Manjula Awakening, we are currently doing a giveaway. Once we reach a thousand subscribers, we're going to give these three beautiful decks away as well as go live. And uh, are, we're going to give those away on live as well as answer some free personal questions as well. So there are messages already trying to slide in for you, um, Sagittarius. So I do feel like that this is someone that knows how to pull back. Like this is someone that knows how to gain access to your deepest um, parts of you. And uh, there is an, there is this energy of distancing yourself from this connection. Um, there are there is a need to set boundaries here. But the connection that we're speaking on today, like I said, I definitely feel like that this connection gives you anxieties. I feel like that this this connection feeds your insecurities and starves your 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 confidence is also i feel like that, that there have been a lot of sleepless nights i feel like that there have been a lot of tears shed uh, within this dynamic i also feel like that there have been some harsh words that have been said when it comes to this connection okay um i definitely feel like that there's a level of guilt and shame embarrassment um whatever whatever the case may be inside of this connection now we do have the four of pentacles here in the challenge position i feel like that this connection just didn't have uh, a, a good founder it didn't have a good starting point um i feel like that this connection was pretty quick to come up off the ground i feel like that what what was fed into the foundation of this connection is just questionable right and, and i feel like that um it, i do feel like that it was a little out of balance here in this connection even though we didn't have the balance card um i do feel like that this connection was out of balance and you know with the five of cups being here I really am feeling like there is an emotional loss that is being had within the dynamic of this connection or has had an emotional loss inside of the dynamic of this connection. But I also feel like that there's a strong cry with uh, from the universe for this connection. Like there, it's, it's time to accept the situation for exactly what it is and, um, and figure out how to move forward in peace. You know, like I do, I feel like that it's, it's, this is the energy of um, accepting and, 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 and moving moving forward, forgiving oneself as well as forgiving the other people involved in this connection. But I do feel like that we're speaking on a connection where um, there's a break here. There's This is um, a rocky foundation. is it's, it, it's being illuminated that this connection doesn't have what it takes to really stand the test of time. So let's see how your person is showing up inside of this connection. Um, because it doesn't necessarily mean that this is absolutely over right now. But there is some type of surrender that needs to take place inside of this connection. Spirit, can you please show me into Sagittarius' this person? So far, I have no majors out here, guys. Fairly balanced as well. So it could be a Pisces here as we do have the Hanged Man we have the nine of wands here the two of wands the knight of wands the hierophant and the chariot wow 
So even if you are in the midst of, which is why there's a need for boundaries here. Um, even if you guys are in the midst of a fallout, I, I'll be the one to break it to you, Sag. This person is going to, you are going to be receiving some sort of communication from this person. Um, I feel like that this person has been in the, this person how they're showing up. I do feel like that there is a, a bit of a stagnancy. I do feel like that this person is in a standstill right now. Um, I feel like that this person, you know, like is, I'm going to say teeter-tottering back and forth, whether to give up on this connection or actually to move forward. But I do feel like with the chariot card being here and their likely out, uh, action position, I do feel like that you can expect to hear from this person. I feel like that this person is going to try to, is, is, is trying to come up with a game plan in order to move forward and overcome, which like I said, I feel like that that's why. That's why there's a need for boundaries here. While Sagittarius may be feeling like this is the end of a situation, I feel like that this person is is really contemplating how to really go at this and have an, another adventure and how to have another go around at this. This person does want to overcome the obstacles. Um, but right now, I feel like this person is either in need or is partaking in some self-care here. It depends on where this person is on their level of healing. Now, the challenge here is the two of wands. So I do feel like that this person really does have, like, I don't feel like this person is all the way on top of their game planning when it comes to the actual planning of bringing this into action uh so like it may be very reckless in the way that they approach this situation and it's because this person isn't taking their, their this person isn't being patient um this person then that's because this person is very passionate about you i do feel very passionate this person could be a pisces a taurus or a cancer here um Sag, you're also very strong in this energy as well but i feel like that that's that like this is this person's true desire is to get to know you more is to try to um explore more of who you are with the nine of wands i do feel like that this person wants to um like i do feel like this person is going to be persistent and trying to like this person really does want to know you as like this like this person is persistent about wanting to get to know who you are and what it is that you truly want. Like there's something about you, Sagittarius, that that intrigues this person. Like there's something about you that's very mysterious, and this person is curious about that. Um, but like I said, I, I with the with the two of wands being here in their challenge position, I do feel like that this person needs to um, kind of. Like there, there, there needs to be better use of this time because while like this person could overanalyze the situation and talk themselves out of it sometimes, and then there's also this energy of someone overthinking a situation to the point where they just don't do any, you know, they don't do anything at all. So Sagittarius is showing up as the Three of Swords. We have the Page of Wands and the King of Swords. So. You know, let's see, what's the challenge here? Um, there was a lot that flipped over. And um, Spirit's telling me not to take it. I'm actually going to address this and move forward. Um, I'm going to re-pull your energy, Sagittarius. But uh, with the Three of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the King of Swords showing up, I do feel like that there is a message from someone that sits in an authoritative position. This very well could be an Aquarius. Um, but this just could be someone who, you know is there's definitely some heartache here there's definitely some loss there's some there's some pain here and i feel like that there's a message coming in from this and i feel like that it's very matter of factly like i feel like that this is um i don't know i feel like there's a very stern like message coming in to like to deliver a message of some type of you know, separation, some type of grief. There's some sadness. I don't know. That, that's coming through pretty um, 
we have a Virgo here at the bottom of the deck with the Hermit energy. So I feel like that when this message comes in, if it's not heartbreaking in and of itself, it is going to ask Sagittarius to go within and do some reflecting so that you... So, like, I don't know, it's just like it could be an epiphany that lets you see exactly where it is that you've been holding on and repressing some emotions. And it's going to allow you to begin to release. But let's see, Spirit, can you please show me one flipper for how Sagittarius is currently showing up in this connection? Guys, if you're still with us at 10 minutes in, we would appreciate a thumbs up down below. It does help get these messages out to other people in need. Thank you, Spirit. So we have the Four of Pentacles that Sagittarius is holding on to something. Yeah, holding on to being left out in the cold. Um, I feel like that this person <clears throat> could have left you. Like, you know what I'm saying? They could have uh, made something else seem as if it was more important than you. We have the Two of... Wow, both of your blockages is the Two of Wands. So they're... they're their blockage is the two of wands. Your blockage is the two of wands. Which means that no one... Like the challenge here within this connection is really putting in the... Um, the You know, no one's willing to take a risk here. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's move forward. The Emperor. Wow. The Moon card. And the Lover's card. My goodness. A lot of majors here within this spread. Wow, looky here, Sagittarius. At the bottom of their deck is the Queen of Pentacles. And at the bottom of yours, we do have the King of Pentacles. So I do feel like that we're 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 talking about someone that there's a very significant connection here. Yeah. Very significant connection on the like there's this energy of trying to recover like this i do feel like that a sense of renewal is, is is on the table here i do feel like that forgiveness is here i do um but let's let's stay focused sagittarius let's stay focused um so here with your feelings as it pertains to this connections we do have the emperor card and this is this is telling me that as far as your emotions i do feel <clears throat> like i like i feel like that as far as your emotions, I feel like that there's been this energy of, um, you, I feel like you're very protective over your emotions right now as it pertains to this person. I don't feel like, you know, like I do, I feel like that there is this guarded energy from Sagittarius as it pertains to this person here. Now, I must admit, there's a whole lot of passion as far as the feelings goes in between you. We have this person is a very youthful Sagittarius Scorpion energy with this Knight of Wands energy emotionally towards Sagittarius and emotionally towards this person. Sagittarius is the Emperor. Now the Emperor, this person is very stable and structured and very practical, but he is the divine masculine energy, right? So I do, I feel like that, that there is a sense of you emotionally that is very protective of not only your emotions, but I feel like that this connection, you're also very protective over, meaning that you don't allow a lot of people to input on this connection here, Sag. Now, in your thoughts, <clears throat> there's a lot of anxieties in your thoughts as it pertains to this connection. There's a lot that you're holding on to from the past. I feel like there's, there's um, you know, with the four of... With you showing up as the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles both, this is letting me know that there is this, um, like I said, I feel like that Sagittarius is showing up as holding back from this connection. I don't feel like Sagittarius wants another round of whatever the Five of Pentacles was for you inside of this connection. You know, that's being left out in the cold. That's uh, financial hardships. I don't know if you guys were linked together financially. This could be this person left you with the bulk of the responsibilities and, and didn't really bring a lot to the table to help you out. Um, this person could have just, like I said, this person could have chosen someone else over you as well. We can't negate that. We can't ignore that either. Um, but as far as your thoughts go with the moon card, I, I, I feel like that Sagittarius, 
there, there's, there is a bit of instability in your thoughts as it pertains to this connection. And I feel like that the key to that is to rely more on your intuition and less on the, like, what it is that you're holding on to are things from the past. So your burden of proof comes from the past. That's usually how it works, right? But this is saying like that proof came from a different paradigm than what you're in now. The paradigm shift has already taken place, which is why you're being called to release because you are protected under this paradigm. Absolutely. This connection is, is around for an, a second chance. I know Sagittarius has to be tired of hearing this. I know Sagittarius wants to move on to something in the new like energy but unfortunately i feel like that there's something far greater inside of this connection that is protected by the divine and that's because this is a mission that is needed like the divine needs this mission to be carried out here now both of you all have major arcanas in the likely actions that you will be taking towards one another this person has the chariot card and you have the lovers card so i do feel like that um sagittarius is going to be making a, a choice like there's going to be this um uh, this recognition of you know the the shared values like i feel like that sagittarius is going to uh really try to f like focus on the portions that are shared between the two of you all there is and there is a need to drop down into your heart space as as you're trying to navigate this situation with the ch with the cancer um the chariot card being here for their likely actions i do feel like that this person is going to excuse me like this i do feel like this person is going to take try to gain the control over this situation i feel like that this person is trying to rise above the the complications and see the path forward now with the hangman being here i must admit i do actually like this hangman as long as the chariot is in their likely actions because i feel like that this person before they actually move in with the 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 intention is to overcome the obstacles this person is trying to surrender some things this person is in the process of surrendering and releasing some things in order to have another opportunity within this connection now let's dive in and just take a little bit deeper of a look and, and look at the uh, past present and uh, the potential future of this connection um Guys, if you're still with me, yes, I'm hammering this in. Sagittarius, you guys have been watching the videos and not hitting that like button. If you're still with me, I would absolutely appreciate it if you would hit that like button. It just helps get these messages circulated to other people in need. My children are outside with the babysitter, guys, so it's not like I'm just ignoring them. <laughs> Let's get two for the past, two for the present, two for the likely future spirit, please. The foundation of this connection definitely needs some work, okay? It is in the obstacle position here. Past, present, and future spirit. Thank you. So, for the past, we do have the devil card, the magician, the knight of pentacles, and the five of cups my 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 in the past was it very very ugly i feel like that there was a lot of emotion like there was there was these there was definitely some toxicity probably on the behalf of this person over here as the queen of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck so this person could have been attached elsewhere this person could have been uh financially or legally obligated to another situation um but i do i feel like that there was some emotional manipulation there was definitely some toxic traits that were taking place in the past and it, it you know i feel like that it was a risk i feel like that in the past you guys knew that this was a risky investment and i feel like that instead of acknowledging it to be the risky investment that it was i feel like that sagittarius and the end your person not just you but i do give me just a moment guys
so um yeah so i feel like i definitely feel like things uh, stalled out in the past because of some emotional manipulation um i i can't I can't get away from the fact that I feel like that there was a whiff of some type of interference in the past for sure. Like I said, I don't know if this person was obligated to, um, I, like if they helped with a, a mother or if they have children with someone and they were still helping out in that situation in the past. But I, I just feel like that there was definitely some manipulation that took place. Let's get here for the present moment. We the, mm hmm Mm -hmm. So, honestly, this connection, it had, it, 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 in the present moment, there is an opportunity to reconcile the differences. I'm not going to ignore that. I do feel like that here in this present moment, there is an opportunity to have some sort of celebratory energy here. However, with this saying that there's a need for firm boundaries, I feel like that's because this person is going to make a very small, like what this person is offering and bringing to the table at this point in the game. I feel like that it is very, very small compared to what has taken place in the past. This, this, this doesn't seem to be too, too much of an emotional offer. It does not. Um, it does not. And honestly, in the future position with the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups coming here, I feel like that in the future, there is going to be clarity on this other person, like on this, like what this person is truly like, what keeps them from being completely open and honest and giving into this situation equally. I feel like that there is going to be some clarity gained on that. Once this clarity is gained, there is going, like, I just feel like that there's going to be a, like, there's going to be a revelation of some sort of information. And it's going to be like, you've learned an, something about this person as well as this connection. Give me just one moment, guys. So I, I, I do. I feel like that with this Ten of Swords here, I just feel like that there's going to be some type of tr clarity had as it pertains to where this person um, Let me look at one thing uh, with this Ten of Swords spirit. I do feel like that this, uh, you know, and maybe I'm too far back, like I'm too far into the future when I'm saying this, because I do feel like that there is a time apart away from this person. You know what I'm saying? I do feel that I do feel the very clear need to set boundaries with this person because the foundation of this connection has to be reestablished. It does. But I feel like that if people are willing to acknowledge the toxicity that took place inside of this connection and once people are willing to identify and actually put the work in on reestablishing this foundation then i feel like that is that this can have a second wind a third wind fourth wind whatever the case may be for you um but it, there has to be clarity and truth spoken like there things are not as they appear here in this connection okay let's see so can you clarify this um sentence so I have the introvert overload, merit, merit work, and eternal love. Yeah, so I feel like that this, like, okay, here's the honest truth, Sag. This person is in another commitment. You know what I'm saying? If this, if, I do, I feel like this person is currently inside, is currently inside of a connection. I don't feel like they're happy inside of that connection. As a matter of fact, I feel like that this connection, like, one-on-one -on -one, there could be this separate energy you know what i'm saying like how their backs are turned here i do feel like that i feel like that these um there is this energy of being overwhelmed i feel like that this person i don't know i just feel like that this person does desire to have a balanced real love but there's there's some type of obligation that this person has inside of this other connection um for sure, but I do feel like that that the and like the likely outcome, the future outcome. I do feel like that there's gonna be clarity on this other. Like I feel like that there's going to be. Uh, 
There is. There's, there's some type of clarity coming in as it pertains to this other connection in the future. Now, um, you know, the timing is going to be different for everyone here. Uh, but I, I do feel like, um, you know, um, I don't know. I don't, I, there's something... There's something that is definitely keeping this. Per Let me look at your choice because your actions towards this person is making a ch is having a choice. It is having to focus, like having to actually make it the conscious choice, making the conscious decision to focus on the shared goals. This is about doing what's best for the overall game plan. You know what I'm saying, and not being selfish in your decision makings, and uh, what. It's like I don't, iron, the irony of the two of wands in both of your challenges positions is this two of wands is looking this way and this two of wands is looking this way. So it's like you two are looking at each other, but no one's willing to actually make take the risk and choose this connection. You know what I'm saying? So let's see. Spirit can you just give me just a little clarity on the lover's card for Sagittarius is likely action switch this person over here there's a lot of majors here on the board guys um you could be dealing with a pisces you could be dealing with a taurus a, a, a cancer very strong cancer we have capricorn we have gemini we have strong gemini we have aries we have cancer so you have pisces Pisces once, we have Cancer twice, we have Gemini twice with the Magician and the Lovers. We have Aries, Taurus, Pisces. So I think I might do Cancer and Gemini. Those are the two that I might do, guys. But let's let's look into the Lovers card here. What is this choice that Sagittarius is likely actions towards this person, Spirit? Ooh, the death card. So I feel like that, like there's, there's an mm, doing what's best for the greater good. So I feel like that Sagittarius is likely actions is going to be to put an end to this. I feel like that this is. Um, I feel like that this is saying that Sagittarius is going to um, Sagittarius is taking a realistic look at this situation. Absolutely. Um, show me more on this spirit. Yeah, Sagittarius is stressed about it, but I feel like that Sagittarius knows. Ooh, uh, you know, Sagittarius. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna help. You, like how. Even though this is a hard choice for you to make, what ultimately walks you into closing this cycle out is uh, is knowing that it's like when you have this encounter and you actually are put in the position to put an end to this, it's like you see that it dims your light. You see that it doesn't allow your talent to... like. I, I'm not trying to say that Sagittarius wants to be the center of the show. That's not what I'm saying. But being entangled with this situation, it really does dim your light. It's like your expertise is not allowed to shine. Let me get something on this person's chariot spirit for their likely actions towards Sagittarius. Family. This person, Sagittarius, this person is going to, this person is going to, um, this, I, I do, I feel like this person, the offer is going to be small. I'm not sitting here trying to say that this person is getting right to offer you the world. That's not what I'm saying. But I feel like this person is going to try to make, is, is going to try to assure you with some sort of comfortability, with some sort of satisfaction so that, you know, like. Okay, like, 
to, to, for them to feel like they don't have to work so much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. I feel like this person is trying to come up with. I do feel like you're going to be here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Look what's at the bottom of the deck, Sag. I can't make your shit up. Apology. Yeah, like you're going to receive an apology from this person. This person is going to offer you this sense of comfortability, a sense of belonging. This person wants to overcome these obstacles. This person wants it to go back to being easy. So you can expect, you can expect something from this person. Um, but I feel like that it is very important for Sagittarius to pay attention to how your light feels when this person is around. Okay. At least in this energetic space. I definitely don't feel like this is your first go around with this person, Sagittarius. I don't feel like this is your first per first time meeting this person. I don't feel like this is your first breakup with this person. <laughs> Archangel Michael, what messages do you have for Sagittarius to close this up? It says the way forward is open. You are not trapped. Possibilities and opportunities abound. I will guide you to personal and spiritual freedom. We also have let it go. Absolutely. This situation no longer serves you. Allow Archangel Michael to sever your energetic connections to the past so that you can embrace the future. And here at the bottom of the deck, we have step into the spot. And here at the bottom of the deck, we do have step into the spotlight. You have a message that the world needs to hear. It's time to share your wisdom. All right, Sagittarius, I pray that this message provided you with some guidance on your journey. If this message resonated, we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, let's choose peace. Love and light, guys.